Hey there, I'm Eric with Abyss Headphones, and we have a new model, the Diana DZ. I wanted to bring you along and show you some of the engineering challenges we faced with this. We have a new ear pad that's the default configuration for a Diana DZ. It's a hybrid array with suede on the face, leather inside and out, and it ships with a new plastic ring that optimizes the adhesive mounting, saves a little bit of weight in plastic, and has a new magnet design that changes the aspect ratio, improves the feel when you're mounting the headphone, saves a little bit of weight and rare earth materials in the magnet as well. This ear pad design changes a little bit more than is obvious at a first glance. Because this face surface here is a little grippier than leather, it allowed us to bring the clamping force down on the headband a little bit. We introduced a sling on DynaDZ. I'm really happy with it. It improves comfort, and it also helps give the headphone a more confident feel on your head. To help accommodate this sling, we were able to adjust the thickness of the slider back plates. We went from 50 thousandths of an inch to 30, and that actually makes up for a good portion of the weight penalty. Building off the lessons we discussed previously on the engineering MR video, we now have the M3 variant of the Diana frame. Some of the interesting features on this one are we have a flow guide on this inside surface here to improve acoustic transparency and efficiency of the surface. In addition, we have a corridor up here in the slider wells to undercut this material where it doesn't provide structural benefit to help improve mass efficiency. There's a few other features in here that improve manufacturability and reduce the mass further, but all in all, it's around a 7% mass reduction on this metal frame assembly. We went really exotic for the inlays on Diana DZ. We have this New Zealand abalone, looks really cool in person, but that's a little too flashy for you. We have a gold forged, looks pretty neat. And we have this Damascus carbon here. Hi everyone. Today we're gonna make some measurements of the new Diana DZ. So we've already got a, a brand new stock Diana DZ on a test head. And uh, as usual, we'll close the door to isolate in our isolation booth to isolate the test set from the environment. All right, so now that the booth is closed, we're gonna uh, calibrate the test system for this headphone. And basically the system will sweep um, up and down in volume level and find 90 dB out of the headphone uh, at the microphone. Once it does, this box will go away and we'll be good to go. So the only thing left here is hit start. We'll make a measurement. We're measuring just channel one, which is the left channel. And uh, let's take a look at what we got for results here. This is the frequency response. And uh, we'll look at uh, THD. And you can see THD is, starts at 20 hertz below, below 0.1%, it looks like about 0.07%, very low distortion on uh, this new Diana DZ. And we got a little bit of uh, a peak here at 0.2%. It's not audible. Beyond that, um, that's the um, Diana DZ measurements. These will be posted on the website. So if you go to the product page on Diana DZ, um, you'll see both the frequency response and total harmonic distortion. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Thank you.